Thank you, Mr. Mears. I appreciate that. And uh, we've uh, <clears throat> we've certainly uh, felt welcome this week. We're very grateful for that. Um, felt like the Lord has given us some uh, some new friends uh, to sit and fellowship and dine with so many different ones of you. It's been good getting to play uh, some sports together. Uh, Although I, I, I would say this in regards to the sports, you guys have home court advantage. Uh, we're not used to playing in the snow. And, uh, <laughs> different. For us, we didn't know we were going to be winter sports up here. There's about an inch of snow out there on the ground now. Our Southern California people aren't used to that. And so that was a little bit different. Our, the, I come from Tennessee and Texas, and we usually keep our cotton down on the ground and uh, we don't we don't grow it up in the trees so i don't know how y'all do that but that's different that's a little, kind of a weird place with all that stuff but anyways uh, i mean it's uh, it's been good though we uh, we're so thankful and grateful to get to uh, to be around so many of you this week and the messages that, that especially in the morning time have been so good um brother nikita and also brother harders this morning just uh, just sweet sweet stuff and i uh, i appreciate that uh, very much. Proverbs chapter 16 tonight and Ephesians chapter number 4. And I appreciated the extra time with the specials to try to figure out direction tonight. So thankful for the extra time. Those specials were good, weren't they? Amen. Amen. What a blessing. And uh, just sweet music. And uh, thankful uh, for that. Glad that my children and my wife got to be here also this week and enjoy this with us and thankful uh, for every bit of that. Proverbs 16 and Ephesians 4 we'll go to later, uh, but uh, we'll start out here at Proverbs and look at a few passages of Scripture in Proverbs. And uh, I appreciate uh, just trying to uh, get in tune with you folks this week. Uh, anytime I go to be with a new church and and learn that church. It's a process for me, and uh, I've been doing evangelism for some 20 years now, and um, and uh, every time I go, you know, I want to be in tune with what God's doing in a place. That's what means, it means a whole lot to me. I don't think I ever preach exactly the same message anywhere. It's always revised or changed in some way, and because uh, I want to be fresh, and so I'm thankful uh, that uh, the Lord is here, that the Lord's working here, and uh, grateful for that. I was thinking about something your pastor said this morning that I thought uh, that I'd share just a little bit as it relates to listening to so much preaching. As 